My wife hated our newborn son since she first saw him. Could you please breastfeed our boy? The doctor said he really needs it now. I don't want to, and I need to relax first. Besides, my friends say breasts sag after breastfeeding. And I can't let that happen. But, Carol, he's hungry. Don't you feel sorry for him? I don't care. It was you who wanted a baby, not me. So take the bottle and feed him yourself. But not here, dude in the hall. I already have a splitting headache from all his screaming. Hi, honey. I missed you so much. I'll be out of hospital soon and we'll be together again. You don't have to worry about your son. I forgot my phone on Kira's room and upon returning to get it, I accidentally overheard her conversation. You know my husband well. He's stupid and gullible, but fortunately rich and caring. He will raise your heir properly, and we can continue to live our carefree life. I was furious with my wife's betrayal, but somehow found the strength to remain silent. Kira's lover knew me, and I had to find out who he was. The next day, we returned home, and Kira was still indifferent to her son. I was taking care of the boy, even though I knew he wasn't mine. That hospital made me so tired. I urgently need to unwind with my girlfriends. So don't wait for me, I'll be late. Bye. I knew that my lying wife wasn't going to meet her friends, so I immediately followed her. I was shocked. Kira stopped by the house I grew up in and where my brother lived at that moment. As it turns out, boy, even though you're not my son, we still share the same blood. That night, Kira came home with the news. I accidentally met your brother in the city. He wants to come have dinner with us. Sure, he can come. Ethan arrived soon after. Would you like to hold him? Mm, no, thanks. Then, while I'm holding your son, give this to my wife and your part-time mistress. What are you talking about? And what is it anyway? These are divorce papers. By the way, my lawyer said that this video where you two are kissing will help me in court. You won't get a dime from me, and you can officially keep having an affair with my unemployed brother. As my lawyer promised, I won the case, and my wife was left with nothing. Neither Kira nor my brother wanted to take their child, so after the trial, they gave up their parental rights. I adopted him without any hesitation and raised him with love. He's not the one to blame and shouldn't pay for his parents' deeds. We are going to be fine, I promise. <laughs> Remember, every child deserves a parent, but not every parent deserves a child. You won't sleep tonight. Get on stage. Every night, the mother would make her daughter perform at nightclubs. I haven't slept well in a week. I'll let you take a nap if you make the producer at the club like you. The mother pushed Katie onto the stage, and with her last ounce of strength, she began to sing. The mother didn't care about the little girl's health. All she wanted was to make a famous singer out of her, since she failed to become one in her youth. One night, Katie was finally noticed by the producer. She sings well, but looks terrible. I don't need a mousy girl. I need a hot babe. We'll get it done, sir. 
the producer would invite Katie to his TV show if she managed to drastically change her appearance. But mom, I like the way I look. Shut up. Nobody asked your opinion. After that, she started mocking Katie even more. First, she took her daughter to a beauty salon where the girl had her hair dyed and nails done. She also got a tan at the solarium, but that still wasn't enough. You still look like a child. Horrible. But mom, I am a child. We'll take care of that too. The next day, Katie's mother took her to a doctor. Give my daughter some hormones that will make her look like a woman. The doctor started to object, but she tried to bribe him. I have more, if that's not enough. Ma'am, are you out of your mind? It's very dangerous. The life of a child is more precious than these pieces of paper. She was afraid the doctor would contact social services. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even understand what I'm saying. However, she wasn't going to back down and fraudulently got a prescription in her name. After getting the hormonal pills at the pharmacy, she gave them to her daughter. Mom, what is this? Is it dangerous? Just some vitamins, honey. The TV audition is in a month, so you have to be in a good shape. Soon the mother realized the pills wouldn't have a quick effect, so she tripled the dose. She also put her daughter on a strict diet, and the day before the audition, little Katie didn't look like herself anymore. Wonderful. You will become a star. Mom, I don't feel good. Stop making things up. You're just being paranoid. Suddenly, Katie lost consciousness. After Katie was hospitalized, the doctor called her mother for a serious conversation. You almost killed your own daughter. Fortunately, she can still be saved. Still, the mother felt no remorse. Really? Will she feel better tomorrow? No, she needs serious treatment for a whole year. The mother didn't listen to the doctor as she seemed to go crazy. At nightfall, she decided to get her daughter out of the hospital and drive her to the audition. I can't sing, I'm too weak. The hospital immediately noticed that one patient was missing and called the police. The police wickle chased Katie's mother down, and she was forced to pull over. They wanted to put her under arrest, but suddenly, Katie said, Let her go. She didn't hurt me. The cops were dumbfounded. She loves me, somewhere deep in her soul. And I love her, because she's my mother. The mother was struck by her daughter's kindness, and finally, her heart melted, causing her to realize what she had done. Honey, please forgive me. The girl was driven back to the hospital, and her mother had to work long and hard in order to compensate the producer, since Katie missed the show. However, that no longer mattered to the mother. Don't try to fulfill your dreams at your children's expense, because one day you might lose them forever.